So if you can, could you talk us through the sleep cycle and what each stage looks like? Because I thought you did a fantastic job of it in the book. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so um, it's really important, I think, for people to understand that when you fall asleep, your brain doesn't just switch off. It goes through a whole host of amazing processes which give you all the benefits that I just talked about. So you have these things called sleep cycles, which means that about every hour and a half-ish, you go into a light sleep and then a deep sleep and then a dreaming sleep. And then it starts again in cycles across the night. And those different parts of sleep have different uses. They have different uh, functions. So deep sleep, for example, is that sleep where you feel really, really deeply asleep. You're really far from consciousness. So you're, when you're conscious, you're very, you know, you're awake and dreaming sleep is very close to consciousness. So if you look at a dreaming brain, it looks almost identical to an awake brain, but deep sleep is the opposite. When you're deeply asleep, your brain looks completely different. And that's where your body does things like physically repair itself. You, um, if you've been doing lots of exercise, you'll have more deep sleep because your body is repairing itself. And dreaming sleep is where you sort of process emotion. So if you're going through a difficult time, like maybe there's a global pandemic and you can't leave your house, you know, that kind of thing, then you'll be processing those emotions and that, that situation in your dreaming sleep, which means that those dreams are likely to be quite big, quite bold, quite vivid, and potentially too big for you to sort of stay in dreaming sleep and you'll wake up. So the different types of sleep at the beginning of the night, in each sort of hour and a half ish, you tend to have more deep sleep relative to dreaming sleep. And as the night progresses, you get less and less deep sleep and more and more dreaming sleep. And that's why if you wake up at one in the morning, for example, you probably won't remember dreaming. But if you wake up at five, six, seven in the morning, you're much more likely to remember dreaming because you're much more likely to have caught yourself in dreaming sleep. As you woke up do you want me to talk more about sleep cycles i could talk to you about them forever oh, i love <laughs> it so the full length of a, a full sleep cycle is that 90 minutes i, I remember you saying yeah about um 90 minutes to 110 so about about an hour and a half and then the next one will start again and it's really important to know that in between each sleep cycle everyone wakes up so you do i do everybody wakes up about four or five times at least every night between these sleep cycles but unless you're awake for at least two minutes, you probably won't remember waking up the next morning. So generally when we're younger, when you're 20, you sleep through the night and you have these awakenings, but they're so short, you don't remember them. And you think you slept in one solid block, but then when we get older, our awakenings start to get a little bit longer and long enough so that you realize you've woken up and you remember it the next day. And that's really important because as people get older, they think or often think, oh no, my sleep's gone wrong now because I'm waking up and my sleep is now fragmented or disrupted in some way. And when I was 20, I slept through the night without waking and that was good sleep. And now I'm older, I wake up two times a night to go to the loo and it's terrible sleep, but actually it's not because your sleep was always fragmented. It was always in these sort of 90 minute, 110 minute blocks. You just didn't realize it. So that's a really common issue. People, as soon as you're worrying about your sleep, you're more likely to give yourself an actual sleeping problem because you're so stressed about the fact that you're not sleeping well that you start to not sleep well. It's a vicious sort of catch-22, vicious cycle. 